me. He said, I'm recording with a llama. He said, Michael's bringing his pet llama into the <laughs> studio every day and I'm really not What's used to recording with you, a Michael? llama and I've had enough and I want to get out. Hello, llamas. How are you, llamas? Llama. Hi. Uh, ooh. Hi, I'm Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you don't know by now, I think you all know that I'm getting obsessed with Queen. Like I'm listening to Queen 27 now. What is happening? Who's this person you're watching now? I don't know. But who is another person I'm obsessed with? That you probably definitely know. Michael Jackson. Of course, the King of Pop. And the Queen of Rock. <laughs> okay. You see? You see what I did there? Mm -hmm. So, of course, a lot of you are telling me, Oh, don't you know, like, Freddie has um, songs with, with Michael Jackson? Like, he didn't put them out, but, like, they're recorded and they're, you know, leaked. You can actually listen to them. You know, like, before uh, I was um, in a dark place where I don't know what was I doing. Like, where was I? Hello, Queen is amazing, Lucy, look, look at it, come on. Um, I didn't know about the greatness of Queen, so uh, I knew that Michael recorded some songs with Freddie. I didn't really care about listening to them. <laughs> I mean, I kind of listened to them like a long time ago, but I was like, yeah, that's another Michael song. Cool. <laughs> you know, it's like, cool, I don't care about Queen, cool, bye. Let's go listen to Butterflies and Human Nature. Goo. You know what I mean. No disrespect to Queen. I wasn't a fan before. I was stupid. You can say that. I still am, but like you can say that. I was a hundred more times as stupid than I am now. Um, because I really love Queen now. Duh. <laughs> uh, I decided to actually really listen to the songs. Like, I've heard them before, like a long time ago, but didn't really um, look at the vocals, didn't really look at the lyrics, didn't really, you know, like I was like, yeah, this is another song, but what? There's a funny story behind uh, why these songs weren't released and such, the llama story, because Michael got a llama into the recording studio. Like, yeah, Michael was, had some weird shit. Yeah, we, we gotta admit that. Michael was funny and weird. But like, I don't get why did he do that. Like, he was like, yes, uh, yeah, I'm getting llama today. This is for a change. Yoo-hoo. It's so funny. It's so funny. I can't actually imagine Michael. I mean, there are photos of Michael with a llama, but like, picturing them in a recording studio like michael with his monkey went to um an interview and a conference and events and we're like yeah i have a monkey here hello say hello to the world but of course it wasn't just because of llama it was because um they were busy they had busy schedules they couldn't uh fix the right time to actually record it really well so we can't just blame michael and the llama okay don't do that don't be mean to Michael. But, you know, I'm not gonna talk too much, even though, like, I always talk too much and see comments saying, like, Oh, shut up. Stop talking over the song. I want to hear this. You're here on my channel, baby. You don't want to hear me? You want to hear the original song? Go watch the original song. What are you doing here? Like, you're here to actually listen to me talking, you know? First of all, uh, we're gonna watch this um, funny video. It's not a funny video, but like, it is called Why Freddie Mercury Gave Up Recording with Michael Jackson. Llama story. So I bet it, it's gonna be funny. And I don't really know a lot about the situation, so I can stop rambling and actually get to know the story, you and me, together. If you have additional information, of course, comment down below. I'd love to know that. And then we'll hear one of the songs and the other one will be the part two of the video. So, let's go. Who plays on the album? Are there any sort of surprise guests? Yeah, me. And Michael Jackson was going to do a song because I worked with him before. 
he used to just come and see our shows at, at the Forum in L.A. I guess he, he liked us, and so I got to meet him, and um, he kept coming to, to see us, and then we started talking. So uh, Freddie went up to Michael's studio, and they started working on a couple of tracks. Put together with Michael Jackson. And work with well, just um, in, in the early days, well, I mean, like, three, four years ago, I mean, he used to just come and see our shows at, at the Forum in L.A. And, um... I... Wait, wait, wait. This is the first time I ever hear and watch Freddie Mercury. He's so... He sounds so innocent, even though he's not. I know, I know he's not. Uh, but he sounds so innocent and, like, adorable, you know? It's, like, so calm. I didn't expect his voice to be this way. Like, oh, my God. I guess he, he liked us, and so um, I got to meet him, and um, he kept coming to, to see us, and then we started talking. And, Jackson, uh, too. In those days, I think he would actually go out. He'd go out and, and have dinner or something. I remember him going to dinner with him. And I think now he just stays at wow. home and doesn't like coming out. Too legend. Like, well, yeah. I mean, that's what he says. I mean, he just, um, he says, or oh, whatever he wants, he can get at home. Because, I mean, a, a, any, anything he wants, he just buys it. But have you and, ever uh, talked, have you talked to him about, I mean, just in terms of being an artist or in terms of a song? Well, I mean, I, I, to stay in the house like that, that kind of isolation, that's so scary, I know, that's not me, it? that's not me, but I mean, you know, or, that's his bag. Mm. And um, I wouldn't do that. I'll be bored to death. I mean, I have to go out. I have to go out every night. I mean, I hate staying in one room for too long. Anyway, I just like to keep keep, keep moving. It was just just an individual approach, you know. He, I don't know. I mean, I guess he's just um, because he started when he was very young. So, I mean, when you think about it, but when I'm talking to him, I think, my God, he's 25. I'm 37. Yet he's been in the business almost longer than I have. They got on well, except for the fact that I suddenly got a call from Freddie uh, saying, Miami dear, can you get on over here because you've got to get me out of this studio. I said, well, what is the problem? He said, I'm recording with a llama. He said, Michael's bringing his pet llama into the studio every day and I'm <laughs> really not used to recording with a llama and I've had enough. What is wrong with you, Michael? Michael came to several shows. Oh think, my God, Jesus. In LA and he loved Freddie. And he kept saying, hey guys, you've got to put That's that so song good. out. And I, I wasn't particularly enamoured with it, so I said, no, you're kidding us, never a single. I think one of the tracks would have been on uh, the Thriller album if I'd finished it. But, um, I missed out. Aww, How it seems we... sad about it. I mean, two legends recording a song together. How amazing would that be? You know, it would have been, like, a huge deal. Bestseller song ever. Oh, look at them cuties. Is that John? I'm getting to know Queen more and more every single day, which I'm very happy about. That was so cute. I wish Michael actually talked about Freddie. Maybe he did. And we know as well that Michael was a Queen fan. Uh, he wasn't a Queen fan. He specifically said, as I remember, I'm not sure about that, uh, that he was a Freddie Mercury fan. Not a Queen fan, a Freddie Mercury fan. He loved Freddie's art. Even though, like, Freddie, Queen, Queen and, like, Ellen, you know, uh huh. And I really want to watch more Freddie interviews because he is, his voice is very soothing, it's very calm. Like, I can actually listen to him all day long. It's like, British accent as well, come on. Ooh. Which song would we actually listen to today? And which song we will leave till the part two of the video. So in this video, I decided to actually listen to State of Shock. And in the part two of the video, we will listen to There Must Be More Than To Life Than This. I think this is the name of the song. No? If you don't know, I think they released these songs later on when they found out that they can't actually finish recording together. So they released the songs with, uh, I think they recorded the songs with different artists, then they kind of released it alone. I don't know, that's the whole thing. Michael ended up, I think, recording the song with different artists, releasing the song uh, with the Jacksons. Maybe we will listen to both of these songs, the one with Freddie version and the Jacksons version. And we will compare. I mean, I don't think we can actually compare because we know like 
Freddie Mercury and Michael Jackson together. That was, wow, genius masterpiece. I'm going to first listen to the Michael and Freddie version because this is the version we are all waiting for. Okay, 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 okay. So I like your style. Just like I know you should. Wow, Michael's voice is a lot higher than Freddie's. You look so great. Every time I see your face, you put me in a state. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay in a shock. I really like this. Okay. That's amazing. Shook, shook, and ow. Like. <laughs> do it, do it. Ready? Like a little different. I like that they actually kept their style. Like they didn't change it for the song or anything. They just added to the song. This song is ooh, this song is very you know it has very random sounds in it like uh, uh, no. <laughs> can you imagine Freddie Mercury and Michael Jackson on stage performing the song? How epic would that be? Michael dancing and Freddie holding the mic. You can feel it. Ooh. Okay, that was fun. That was cool. Wow. I love how their voices are blending. Like, as I said before, they didn't uh, change their vocal style. Like, they kept it there, Michael's higher, uh, Freddie's a little lower. It was so fun. The ad libs, noises, voices, whatever is that. There were a lot of hee hees. Like a lot of hee hees. I like that. <laughs> now, the one with the Jacksons. Now, this is Michael's take on the song. Okay, these were Michael's ad-libs. We know Michael does this all the time. He really likes beatboxing the song. Okay, they changed the instrumental thing. There's... Is it Mick Jagger? Is it... Mick Jagger. I don't know how to pronounce names. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. That's cool. I like this version too. So, Mick or Mike Jagger. I think it's Mike. No, I don't know. He's singing the song with the Jacksons here. I wish it was pretty though. Like, it would have been epic, you know? Like, I love these added vocals. She looks so great I mean, I think they would have added them if they actually finished recording the song. They would have added and fixed a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if I actually heard this instrumental part in the other verse. Freddie saying that. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I like this version. I like Freddie's version, of course. The instrumentals were different. This is a very different style to the Jacksons. Like I don't. I didn't imagine the Jacksons having 
this kind of sound, you know. Th this, I think, to me personally, more of a Queen type of songs than the Jackson's type of song. But do I like it? Yeah, I love both of them. I, I love both versions, but I do wish the Freddy version was released. <laughs> like, well, how amazing would that be? How amazing would it be to see both of them on stage performing the song? That would actually enter the history books. Like, this will be legendary. But uh, I'm so happy that um, I'm now a queen fan, so I actually can appreciate this type of song and like these two vocals blending together as magic. Really like this. I'm kind of sad now because they didn't finish recording it. Llama. It's all because of you, Llama. Why did you come to the recording studio, Llama? Oh goodness, no it's not Lama's fault of course, but that was a funny story, that was a funny part of it. Of course it was like, the Lama part was very, very minor in this situation, I think. Or I hope so. But anyway, um, this video is way too long now, I've been recording for 29 minutes now, which is crazy. So that's why we will leave the other song for part two of the video that will film next so if you want to watch that please subscribe like this video and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and the part two so you can watch it as well and we can enjoy these two voices playing together again i think i preferred that song over this one because that one is so emotional and that one has a version of Michael singing it alone and Freddie singing it alone. But what pronunciation is that? And Freddie singing it alone, which we will hear in part two. So tell me in the comments down below what do you think about the song? Which version did you like most? I'm sure most of you will say Freddie version, you know? Of course. Come on, you know that. I mean, if you like the Jacksons, comment down below and tell me why. Why do you not like Freddie? Maybe you don't like Freddy, that's why. Why are you being stupid? Tell me in the comments down below as well some information about what you know about Michael and Freddy working together. Maybe there are a lot of stuff that I don't know about. And tell me in the comments down below what other videos you want me to make and I hope you have a nice day and a week. And goodbye.